Hey guys, it's CRT and welcome to episode 10 of China Battles. This is a series where two channels go head to head. It's up to you to decide which channel is better. Now let's get to the results for the last episode. In the previous episode, we had a battle between two programming blocks of both Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network, Naked Night and Adult Swim. We have a total of 23 votes, which is three more the last time and now hold the record for most votes. Anyways, which channel is better? Well, you're about to find out. You guys had voted, and the winner of episode 9 is... Nick and Knight, with a majority of 85%. So this means that Nick and Knight wins episode 9 of the series, and will be moving on to the season 1 finale. Before we move on to the next battle, we want to give you guys an important announcement about what will happen next in the series. Here's the announcement. This will be the final episode to feature a matchup in Season 1. Yep, that's right guys. This episode's matchup will be the final one for Season 1. Why you may ask? Because of the next episode, which is episode 11, you guys will have to vote for one of the winners of past episodes in the season. Then, in episode 12, which is the season 1 finale, we will review the final results of who will win, and the channel with the most votes will win season 1 of China Battles. We hope you guys are excited for the season 1 finale of the series, as this will be truly special. The next episode of the series will come out this November, of course, and the season 1 finale of China Battles will come out in December, so stay tuned. But anyways, in this episode, it's a battle between two premium channels that mostly air movies all the time. It's a battle between HBO, which is owned by Warner Bros. Discovery, and Stars, which is owned by Lionsgate Entertainment. And now, let's get started with this episode of Channel Battles. First, we'll start with HBO, which is also known as the Home Box Office. HBO is an American paid television network. It is owned by Home Box Office Incorporated, which is a subsidiary owned by Warner Bros. Discovery. Headquartered in New York City, HBO primarily airs not only movies, but original television programs such as documentaries, occasional comedy, and other stuff. HBO is known as the oldest and longest operating subscription service in the US. HBO was launched on November 8, 1972 by Charles Dolan, with the 1971 film Sometimes the Great Norton being aired. It initially aired nightly on an open-ended schedule from 7pm to 12am. By the end of 1972, the service was received by 1,395 subscribers. However, by February 1973, it increased to around 4,000 subscribers. On February 28, 1973, Sterling Communications announced that it would spin out HBO into a new subsidiary, Homebox Office Incorporated. However, on July 19, 1973, which is 32 years before I was born, Time Inc. decided to reach an agreement to purchase Sterling Communications for $6.2 million. The acquisition was completed on September 18, 1973, dissolving the Sterling Company. In January 1974, HBO expanded its programming to 8 hours a day, from 5.30pm to 1.30am on weekdays, and 12 hours from 1.30pm to 1.30am on the weekends. But then, in the fall of 1974, HBO decided to expand into a national pay television service. Not only that, it became the first television network to deliver its single via satellite on September 30, 1975. The network's programming then expanded, operating daily from 1.30pm to 1.30am, an extension of its weekend schedule to weekdays, until it was expanded on January 1979, with its programming now lasting from 5pm to 2am on weekdays, 
and 2.30 p.m. to 3 a.m. on weekends. But in 1982, HBO had transitioned into a 24-hour schedule. On January 10, 1990, Warner Communications announced that it will merge with Time Inc. for $14.9 billion, creating Time Warner. By that time, HBO served over 17.3 million subscribers. Then, on October 22, 2016, AT&T announced the offer to acquire Time Warner from $108.7 billion, being completed in 2018. Finally, on February 28, 2019, Richard Plepler stepped down as CEO of Homebox Office Incorporated after a 27-year run at HBO. And as of September 2018, HBO is available to approximately 35 million US households, which is the largest ever of any American premium channel. Now we're going to talk about STARS, with a Z instead of an S at the end. STARS is a American premium television network owned by Lionsgate Entertainment and is the property of STARS Inc. Headquartered in Santa Monica, California, its program consists of movies and original television series. STARS was launched on February 1st, 1994, with the first two movies aired on the network for Sent to the Woman and The Crying Game. By that time, the network was operated as a joint venture between TCI and Liberty Media, with TCI owning a 50.1% interest in the channel. Star Media debuted as the first phase of a 7-channel multiplex that was launched by Encore Media Group. The multiplex was going to include 6 channels, but due to Encore acquiring the rights to feature films, TCI and Liberty created additional service as a competitor to both HBO and Showtime. And by that time, Stars was available to 2.8 million television subscribers by 1996. On June 2nd, 1997, TCI announced a deal to transfer majority ownership of Hong Kong Media Group to Liberty Media. And by May of 1998, Stars reached 7.6 million households. In 2000, Hong Kong Media Group was renamed Stars Hong Kong Media Group until it was renamed Stars Entertainment on March 25th, 2005. A few days later, Stars introduced a new logo. On November 19, 2009, Liberty Media spun off Stars into a separate stock, Liberty Stars. Until so they announced they would spin off the Liberty Stars subsidiary into a separate company on August 8, 2012, completing the deal on January 11, 2013. On January 1, 2010, Chris Abrach joined Stars as its president and oversees all the Stars entities, including Stars Entertainment, Incubate Entertainment, and Film Romance. Finally, on June 30, 2016, Lionsgate agreed to acquire Stars Inc. for $4.4 billion, completing the acquisition on December 8 of that same year. And as of September 2018, Stars was available to 28 million US households that had a subscription to a multi channel television provider. So that's the info for both of these channels. Now let's get to our dots of these channels. 
Now, as you may know, both HBO and Stars are premium channels that is known to air movies since their launches. I rarely watched both of these channels in the early years when we have cable. We don't really have cable now, so yeah. However, both of these channels air not only movies, but can still air original series and stuff too. For HBO, I remember some of their shows like Last Week Tonight, and of course, Game of Thrones. Oh yeah, and Hard Knocks, I almost forgot about that. HBO is also known for having its streaming service, HBO Max, which we're not going to talk about due to the events of the Warner Bros. Discovery situation. For stars, some original shows aired on the network, but I never knew them. However, one of the things that stars is known for is its amazing feature presentations and shows in the past. Like this one from 2008. Absolutely phenomenal. HBO had some good interest too, like this one in 1983, but like stars and shows better. Also, I didn't know that Stars is owned by Lionsgate. It's pretty interesting that a movie studio that owns Summer Entertainment would own a television network. And with that, we can conclude this episode of Channel Battles. Make sure to vote for either HBO or Stars to win episode 10 of the series, as voting will end in 7 days. And if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to like and subscribe for more quality content. But until next time, this is Roger Galaxy, signing out. Thank <laughs> you.